Not really sure what's going on with this panda, but I'm not convinced I want to know what's going on with this panda. I have to say though, they are my favorite mobs by far that just, I mean, look at that. Like that's just, that's a ridiculous, ridiculous panda. I guess they're just taking a bath, you know? I get that. Stay clean, my friends. Stay clean. Two hundred subscribers. That's right. You heard me. Two hundred. Two hundred! That is just knock your socks off amazing. I, I don't even have words. Thank you so much for all of you who have stuck with me over the relatively short lifetime of this channel. And to those of you who are new, welcome. I think you're going to like it here. Anyway, this week we've done some work on a build that I've been itching to get working on. The castle, and in particular, the ballroom. Here, let me sketch out what I have in mind. Small, so that you guys can see. So... We're like doing like a miniature version. So this is the front entryway, right? We've got our ballroom. Ballroom has like fancy, uh, some sort of fancy dome kind of ceiling like this. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the center point of the room and then I'm gonna just make, I'm gonna make cylinder, I'm gonna make cylinders until they're the right size. I'm not married to any particular ideas cause I think it's better to be open to uh, interpretation once the once the building is is shaped we want to build we want to structure things around the big room as opposed to structuring the big room around the the outside facade would you want a wider entrance right here that leads to the entrance yeah probably that seems like it'd be a good idea so this is like my little this is my little scale model it's terrible and made out of dirt and cobblestone and cyan glass because that's what's in my hotbar, but... We're somewhat limited by a couple of factors. There's the height. We can only go as yeah. tall as that design on the roof. Um, we can't go any higher than that. I think the roof should have like some sort of... I don't know how, how uh, possible that is in Minecraft. I like painting some roof or at least... Uh, yeah. I think patterns would be um, really cool. And then, and then have like some some sort of uh, little windows that you can't really see from below, but you can go like up into this space that is like. I kind of like I kind of like to try like a big pattern on the floor as well. And you can stay like here and mm -hmm. open the little windows in the roof and look down there. Anyway, I'm gonna pick this little scale model thing up. And then I'm going to put it somewhere else. It's beautiful. Wow. Such beauty the world has never known. So this space realistically could fit a, a circle maximum radius probably about 25. So this is what a 20 radius circle looks like. What do you think, John? I'm not sure about that. Is it, yes. is it too big? I wouldn't say that. How many people are going to dance in here? Mm, probably be pretty large. Um, it'd be large gatherings, right? You know, I mean, because anytime, like, say, you know, the King of Ferador comes to visit and everything, well, he's going to bring, you know, he's probably going to bring the queen and his kids and stuff, and then they're going to need all of their servants and stuff, and then the there's going to be the people who... You know, like drive the carriages, the people who cook the food along the road, you know. I actually, I feel like with all those people, like this, it feels just a bit small. Mm. But I think if we actually do place some sort of stairs that kind of wrap up here, mm -hmm. uh, then it would like make the whole thing feel a bit. I think we could stand to make it. I think you're right that it does feel a little bit small, you know, given like this is supposed to be where they entertain large crowds. But I think it's also somewhat understandable that that the 
that it would have to be by necessity a little bit smaller than than everyone might like uh just because you know there are physical limitations to the space at hand right and that's something that even if you know even in world they would have had to you know the king says i want it to be bigger and the architect guy says we can't physically make it any bigger then use magic <laughs> yeah oh that, that would be cool too bad we don't have a um just travel to a different dimension to do it. Yeah, we could we could have the doorway be a nether portal, and then we could build the ballroom in the nether and just fill it, just and fill the entire nether with a ballroom. Atmosphere with a lot of <laughs> dust going on and, and red, but I still think it would be cool. And now I have actually another idea how that might connect to or something. It's having some sort of staircase Oops. that wraps around inside the wall. Uh. Or, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I agree and with that. That just goes up to, uh, probably because it looks better, the middle. So we have like a half circle out of stairs, but like in both directions. Mm -hmm. And then we have a walkway on the other half of the, uh, of the circle with a lot of rooms connected to it. Yeah, I like the stairs idea. The question is, do we put the stairs on the inside of this circle or on the outside of this circle? I'd put it on the outside, but how do you put it on the outside? Okay. <laughs> and have like a colonnade and then the stairs back behind it and then you get to the top you can move down. Uh, yeah, see, I'm kind of picturing that you have a colonnade. Oh, so columns oh, in, in between oh. the room and the staircase. Oh, yeah, now I get what you mean. Okay. But you'd see people peekaboo through mm -hmm. the stairs. And then when they get to the top, the columns are kind of the railing. Sure, sure. So you get to the stop and hey, stand like here and look down. And then here at the back of the room, we put a small stage. You can have a live. You can have live music. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. So what this means? Uh, so how how wide of a staircase? Like two blocks, three blocks? What do you think? I think three blocks. Three. Okay. So what it means is I'm gonna make a, another. The entrance is like three blocks wide. That's true. You know, I don't want it to be like a big flat plane for a ceiling. Um, no, no, it's got to be curved. And you mm -hmm. want to build some lighting into it, and you really want a central chandelier. Yeah, and some arches and stuff, you know, that I, I like the four corners. Um, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out some, some radial lines. So this, old, this John should help build... Um, should oh, help yeah. with the staircase because what we can do is I can draw a bunch of these at different angles and then you can just kind of, you know, like just however many steps we need to get up to the next floor. We just make that many divisions of the line and everything. Um, that's how I've been building the spiral staircases everywhere else because um, otherwise I get lost. So air 20, 30, uh, 25, 25. Um, yes. Okay. So that didn't actually do anything, but it makes it clear to me that at least the this we could potentially there build this all the way to the ceiling. There's some air here now. Oh, yeah, you're right. There we go. I accomplished something. I'm useful. Am I, guy, am I in your guys' way if I build this here? I can make it smaller. No big, but... Uh... What are you uh, building where? I don't think so. Um, yeah, as long as it... I can't tell looking at it, but as long as it doesn't overlap with this blue... With the blue outline... It doesn't overlap with the blue one. Okay, then yeah, yeah, you're all good. What is this? This is cool. Uh, kitchen. This is gonna oh. Be kitchen. Oh, fancy. This, there are stairs that go here up to the, the banquet hall. Mm -hmm. And then um, I can also make stairs that go down into the... Uh, whatever this is going to be. Yeah. So, he, okay. So that's actually perfect um, because kitchen is kind of like a, like a servant's area. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, yeah. we'll have a hallway that comes off of here like this. And then it'll probably turn, maybe even go through this wall here. I don't know, but we'll have hallways and then, you know, it'll branch a little bit. But if you can connect up your yeah. kitchen down to these hallways, we'll have probably two or three floor layers of hallways here. That's also great because after the guys park the, the carriage for the dignitaries in the stables, then they make their way up through this door 
they come in through here and then they're instantly in the serving area and then go to like the kitchens and get a snack or something. It does look like a sun, yeah, huh? That is a floor Which is funny because all I was actually doing is marking out the staircase, <laughs> but um, if that we does know, look really cool. Oh, this looks really cool. If you come and stand here at the entryway and look at even just with the floating stairs. It's like a Oh yeah. It's kind of a neat effect. That's nice. Copy. Flip north. Paste minus air. Boom. Oh, that... Boom shakalaka. I have to say, like, simultaneously, this is what I love about building giant buildings and also what I hate about building giant buildings. <laughs> I like that you can have so much detail and you have space to, like, do all sorts of cool things. But I hate the fact that if you're if one block is misplaced, you probably don't notice that it's misplaced until until it hits you in the face and it's blaringly obvious and you curse yourself and everyone around you. OK, I'm going to raise the outer part of the wall up to balcony height just so that we can see it and it's going to be an ugly blue color but we'll change it later well i would if i was good at typing but i'm not there we go ah most planned project before building ever i mean how long have we been building concrete outlines now i mean dude this is this is how i put together every single one of the big buildings in the city like the tree was somewhat like this the center fall. I mean, remember the remember Starlight to Jill or mm -hmm. Astro Pizzeria, you know what I mean? Yeah. We yeah. made like some some outlines in a few minutes, uh, thinking about how it might be. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, we didn't have to deal with like, you know, anytime yeah, you do things with. Color. <laughs> yeah. When anytime, well, like when I went through on the Astro Pavilion and did all the stuff with the white concrete on the bay side of it, all that was all like this too. Um, I had, you didn't, you didn't see it cause I only posted pictures when it was finished, but I, um, originally like the towers and stuff were all sorts of different colors of concrete and I colored it all white at the end. Um, oh. same thing with the, the brass gate over by the clock yard and Centerfall was like that. The castle was like that. The only difference with those projects was that I actually did all the planning, not in concrete, but in quartz, which is why I yeah. switched to using concrete. Cause when you plan all in quartz, you can't change like only some of the blocks into other stuff. You have to change all of them because it's all the same block. Um, that's why I've started using different colors of concrete for everything. But yeah, no, I mean, the planning, the the big builds has always been for me. It's always been an exercise in um, just making just an inconvenient number of uh, circles and outlines and then filling things in. <laughs> This is a, it's quite a colorful, uh, oh, yeah, it is. colorful space now. I like it. Okay. Yeah, um, I, think, I think this is going to be kind of cool. I yeah. Like I'm glad that we, um, I'm glad that I made it this big. I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to be big enough or that was, or that way I would do it too big and it wouldn't like proportionally fit in the space. You know, like the ceiling would have to be too low, but I think we got the proportions just about perfect. Yeah, it just needs a shell of it on the Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's kind of fun having it be all the weird, uh, the weird colors. You know, it's, it's, it's. I don't know. It's, it's like a, it's a rite of passage. I feel like for any of these big builds to, at some point, just be terrible, ugly concrete, a concrete mess, and then magically, everything transforms into beautiful blocks, and it all, it all works out. Okay, Finn's going to show us around a little bit in uh, the servants' quarters that he's been building. We are somewhere deep beneath the castle, I guess. We're going deeper down. Oh my goodness. This is quite a staircase. That's, that's a little vertigo-inducing. Oh, and it transitions. Oh, this is nice. That's cool. Okay, I guess we got to keep up. Whoa! Oh, this is cool. This is the first time I'm seeing all of this. Um, this, wow. This is really neat. There's like every single painting. See some of them multiple times. Oh, this one's all full. Oh, oh, is that a crib? What? Gertrude Green. I like it. I like that they're giving people names. 
that is really cool. We've got, let's see, T.W. Pond. Ooh, T.W. Pond's a fancy guy. Look at this. Look at that wood paneling on the wall. Over here we have, looks like a kitchen. Got some, like a little fume hood. <laughs> we have a, like a place for storing potatoes and things, some sinks. This is all really, really cool. Shelves. Look at all those shelves. And of course the beer taps. This is cool. It's like a like a meat storage. You got the snow. Man, everyone's been hard at work today, except for me. I feel a little bit like a slacker. Look at that chandelier. So Bart's been the one, I think, working on the ballroom. Um, John and I did a little work the other day, but not nearly. Uh, it wasn't nearly this finished when we left. This is just incredible. I love these patterns. Wow, that is... You know, we were talking about wanting a fancy chandelier. That was one of the things we talked about. And I think, uh, I think we've really done it. This is absolutely amazing. This place is looking great, too. I haven't really looked much at the throne room since uh, people have been in here decorating it. But this is just really... Like, look at this. We got these two trees here that kind of frame the throne. We have these nice, fancy castle proper rooms for the royalty and for dignitaries and stuff. They're fancy and they're, you know, gaudy and colorful. We go through these doors, though, and we start to see a different side of the castle. You know, these these walls, while they're still made of the white stone, they're a little more plain. You know, there's not as much decoration. Um, and then we get start getting into the stuff that's very utilitarian. You know, we've got uh, stuff in here. You know, look at the, how low the ceiling is. That's because that's what fits, you know, and, and we've got sinks and things, the dirty stuff, right? That if you're a king, you don't want to see the dirty stuff. You just want the food to magically appear on your plate when it's time to eat. Uh, we've got like a clock, you know, everything is a little bit more focused around what do we need to have in order to make things work. We've got all these stairs that just go down, 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 down. And as we get deeper starts to get a little darker we start to see this stone the stone shows up you know that tells us that we're deep enough that you know they don't even build it out of the white stone anymore they build it out of this gray stone because it's cheaper to do and holds up better probably something like that when we get down here and this is this is bright and it's colorful and it's beautiful but it's not nearly as ostentatious as the banquet hall upstairs right this is a place, you know, this would be a common area where people come and hang out. You know, people come and take their breaks down here or whatever, or they ha come and have a like a community dinner. Um, but, you know, while things are beautiful, there is definitely a focus on things being making sense and being utilitarian. You know, we have, you know, a big fireplace to keep everyone warm. And we've got smaller tables because, you know, people are going to split up into individual groups. You know, we have the kitchen kind of areas are within, you know, sight distance uh, from everything else, which is something that's also different. Um, yeah, and everything, you know, we got all this cracked stone and, you know, some of the other stone that the mountain is made out of just kind of wedged in here. Um, and it gives this, this part of the castle a different feeling. The interesting part to me is that, like, things like this hallway, this hallway, it's not like... It's not like we actually carved a hallway through actual, you know, it's not like this place is solid stone. Most of the mountain is hollow. Um, so this hallway being a weird shape and being kind of cramped and stuff, that's on purpose. You know, that's something that the ha hallway was designed to make you feel like you're kind of squished in here. You know, we get in here and this is just like, I mean, this reminds me of like a, like a almost like a storage unit <laughs> kind of setup. But we got all these little tiny rooms, you know, these are, this is where you'd live. This would be your little you know, 12 block space where you, your entire livelihood would be. Um, I mean, look at how cramped this is. But, you know, being a palace servant, probably a better gig than, you know, than a lot of jobs out there. Uh, you, you know, I'm sure you definitely get your share of table scraps and whatnot. Um, it's probably, you know, it's probably not a bad way to live. These little corners are really what make this city what it is. You know, it's the fact that, uh, uh, that everything is filled up with stuff and that you know 
people are taking the time to give everyone names um, and people are getting individual rooms. And I like that, it, that it's been a collaborative effort on everyone's part. Um, I think that's my favorite part of all this is that everyone is working together. It's not just, you know, when we started doing a lot of this stuff, a lot of the things we were doing were individual work, which was good. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it is really cool that people are starting to collaborate more um, and do things, you know, in big groups um, where we have teams of two or three or four uh, people working on the same projects. And they're kind of, you know, what what to me is important is that uh, they're they're doing a lot of this independent of me, like needing to like assign people stuff like, you know, I don't mind helping out helping people figure out like where stuff is supposed to go whoa oh we've got like a tap room back here with uh giant kegs i love that uh no but it's just uh yeah it's nice to see that people are are taking the initiative uh that's really helpful to me because it's you know it's that much less that i have to worry about um and yeah and then it gives them a, an opportunity to to be super creative with things, you know, um, because, you know, I have ideas about how I think things should go, uh, but my ideas are just that, they're my ideas, you know, and other people have, you know, just as good, if not better ideas than I do, um, you know, but it's it's sometimes hard to, to get to encourage that to come out um, in a build where, where a lot of the base ideas I, a lot of the original stuff is coming from something that i've got established i guess kind of in my head it's not well established it's just established um but you know transitioning that into something where everyone is participating it's always a hard transition so the fact that people are taking the initiative and doing this is fantastic got some other neat stuff out here it looks like bart has gone ahead and filled in this oh, i love that thank you so much uh, we had a bit of a mishap the other day, um, and all of this got drained, and all the all the nice corals and things got blown up. Um, but now they're back, and Bart has done that for us, which is I'm so thankful for. I really didn't want to have to do that again. Yeah, the birches look good, and I like that he's doing them custom, because um, that's something that, uh, yeah. That's, so, that's something that uh, is sometimes difficult, you know? Um, it's it's often really tempting to just, you know, kind of just pop down a sapling and throw some bone meal at it. And there's nothing wrong with the default trees, but I think especially for an area like this, you know, it really just, it's that much better when we have the fancy custom trees that someone spent a lot of time on. This maze is like actually difficult to find your way out of. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get lost. Oh. Oh, there we go. Look at that. But yeah, I mean, you know, this is a scale of tree that you couldn't generate. Um, and these shapes are interesting shapes. Ones that wouldn't, you know, naturally form. Um, you know, w from the, the algorithms in Minecraft. Um, and so it's just, you know, it takes sometimes it takes a human touch. I'm also just kind of overall just really amazed with everyone's work ethic too. I feel kind of like a slacker. Um, I log on a couple times, a handful of times a week to record and also just to check in on things, take pictures, stuff like that. Um, I've got some projects that I'm working on, uh, but some of these, some of these guys and gals are on almost every day, I think, so... <laughs> Uh, props to them. I, you know, I, uh, I like Minecraft. I don't know if I could do Minecraft every single day. Although, the more I do this YouTube thing, the more it feels like Minecraft every single day is kind of a, kind of a necessity at some point. So, yeah, I was, I was honestly a little bit, I was a little bit concerned that we would not be able to fill in, you know, I mean, look at the size of this building right and then on top of the fact that the building is really big you know you have to keep in mind that you know we're on a cliff 
and you know this building isn't just the white building you see it extends almost all the way down well i mean you can see the little balcony down there it extends at least that low into the ground and we have to fill basically all the space inside it with stuff with something i mean we don't have to but i'd like to you know i'd like it to be kind of a labyrinth and a uh, labyrinthine uh structure you know where it's just it's a little bit confusing and hard to find your way around and if you're if you're just wandering you know sometimes it's like whoa i've never been here before and i've been through this castle a hundred times you know things like that and i think we're really starting to get there um you know this is one of the first big buildings that i built um i was really excited about having a palace and i put together all these cool towers and had these big round stained glass windows and everything and it was just it was really cool but I didn't know what to fill it with. I didn't know what to put inside these towers. I didn't know what the layout of the, the buildings inside should really look like in order to, you know, for maximum ef uh, effectiveness. Uh, but I think that they've done a really great job. You know, all these, all my friends uh, have done a fantastic job of figuring out what goes inside these buildings, asking themselves that question, and then, and then running with it. Uh, because the stuff that they are doing is, you know, far beyond anything I, I ever imagined would, would end up in here so that is just major props major props to everyone good lord look at the time i think it's about all we have time for today unfortunately i hope you guys are all having a fun time watching us work our way through this project it is such a huge and at times terrifying task but knowing that there are good people like you guys who like what we do well that just makes it all worth doing so if you like what you've seen and you've seen things you liked, uh, please consider leaving a like or a comment and click that subscribe button if you want to see more. I read every comment you guys post and they really do make my day. Uh, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching and you have a great day.